Okay. See ya. Hey guys, Team G here. It's time for me to ask the girl on the way. Or go over the way. So wait until the weather. So today, I'm going to be hitting even what I missed yesterday. Um, it was the positional sets Pat, Pete, and Joe Thomas. That's what I'm going to be looking forward to the T.Y. Hilton. Everyone knows I'm a huge Colts fan. I'm going to be picking this card up as soon as it drops, so be looking out for that. I will go to this set, and then I'm going to go to the card, and then we'll talk more about how actually, um, well, I'm going to be doing my quest for a million thing as well, again, when we're starting that up. Um, I kind of went over well last time, I think it was my highest video I've ever, I mean, to date. So, I think I want to do it again because you guys probably enjoyed it. That's why I got the um, the the views that I got. So, you have Pat Pete 99. It's a pretty beast card. 6 1. I mean, I think his zone is 99. Man, his zone is man 99, zone 96. It's nothing to play with, guys. Press. I think that's 95, speed 98. I mean, seriously. It's not fair. 88 awareness, 85 catching, carrying, 78, 61. Um, throw power 70. This card is ridiculous, guys. I mean, it's just straight ridiculous. Stiff arm and juke move. Man coverage again. Zone injury. Spectacular catch for a CB. That's pretty crazy. I mean, like. It's almost on the level. I mean, you can say it's better than the Dion card. I don't know. I haven't used it. I've seen a couple people actually play with it, and it's pretty crazy. You can't really throw on top of him, so I don't know. But now you have this Joe Thomas, 99 um, blocker LT, pass block 100, run block 96, jumping 75. Look at that footwork, guys. That's going to be crazy no matter what DT you have, whether it's Aaron Donald or not. Aaron Donald, Mean Joe Green, any any rusher on the D line that's gonna have they're gonna have trouble getting past that card. It's a it's a man card. So or I mean like it's it's just very it's a very good card. So this is how I make money for the quest for one million coins. I decided to share to you guys how I do it so you guys so it makes it easier for you guys to learn how to do it as well. Everyone already knows this way, the method that um most people do. Just look for snipes. You can see that Terrence Williams is up for 8K. It's, it's actually not up for 8K, but, you know, bid 8K, 8.7. If I could get a bid in, maybe I could win it. I don't know. We'll try now. Do we get it? Not. Okay, so we're still going to try, guys. I think we get it this time. We do. And we're going to go on to see if we have it, if there are any other cards that I can bid on. You see a bunch of different cards up. Actually, about the time that I'm recording this, it's pretty early, so I'm not expecting that many cards to be up. But usually later at noon and uh, going into midnight, there's a bunch of cards. You just have to be there to see them, and you have to grind, and you have to actually go at it. You can't give up after like the first 20 bids, because most likely people are going to bid till pretty much about they can only gain a 2K or 10K profit. Sometimes you'll get lucky, and you'll get it for like, like 1k or something you'll make like a 40k profit but that's not usually the case so it's good it's a grind guys but I mean it's worth it you get a million very easily I also do this I learned from another youtuber you go to 90 do 94 95 do 99 whichever one you want go to newest tap X if you're on Xbox 360 I don't know how it works for the other console and toggle between all, de all defense and all offense and then just cards pop up for you know like the newest cards that people posted and people like if they don't know the price especially like with the new final edition coming out tomorrow they'll put it up for what they think you know is the right price and sometimes it's lower than what it should be so you pick up on a bunch of different cards i know that the last two weeks i've been making a whole bunch of coins off of the combine warrior cards the all rookie cards and the final edition right when they first come out because people don't know what to put them up for so I'll snap them for like 5k, 20k, 10k, and stuff like that. It's just a great way to make coins. You guys can see I'm at roughly 230 right now. You can round it up to 250. I mean, you can't really round it up for 250, but that's what I'm going to do. And the way that the quest for a million works is that I start off with a certain amount of money, like you guys see right now. 
I build up for the next day. You guys guess today the amount of money that I make today. And then tomorrow I reveal how much money I've made. And if someone gets the number right, then they get 20% of the coins that I made. It has to be in the 60 guys. And if no one guesses it, then it drops down to 10% of what I made. Or I'll, I'll do 10%. And it gets added to tomorrow's total as well. So if you don't get it today, let's just say I make 100k and no one gets it and so you get 10k or if you guess 100k you'd get somewhere around 25k i believe i'm not sure but um if you didn't guess it 10k would go into the total bank and then say i made another 100k t the next day if someone guessed that right they'd get 20 percent plus the 10k so that's how it works until i get into a million so you guys are going to be cashing in because I'll, I'll be grinding, guys, whether I do this or whether I wager. So, yeah, that, that's how the quest for a million works. Hope you guys enjoy this um, this series I'm doing. It's not really going to be like every week, unless every week I'm making a million coins. But, yeah, this is just, you know, something to throw back at you guys because you guys enjoyed it. I also go to, you know, looking at, I also go to look at Elite Collectibles. There's a bunch of elite badges that you can get. You can snipe a bunch of elite badges. Um, you can go to gold rookie legends and get a whole bunch of rookie legend cards like Steve Alwater. You can get Pro Bowl um, rookie legend Darrell Revis, Chris Carter, Michael Irvin. You know, you just have to actually grind. I also for when um the the MV not MVP but the trophy set came out i just went to the trophy sets in team by team individually selected each card and see which one you know and just snipe them whichever ones were going for cheap are the ones that i could snipe for cheap then i'd resell them for a bunch of coins i think i made about 120k in like three days i stopped after that because something came out and i wanted to buy packs for it but yeah you guys this it just you have to be yeah it's a grind I also go to my item binder, sell any of the cards that go to the trophy sets, or any cards that are, you know, of any value, um, at, uh, any cards of any value at any, um, tier, whether it be gold or bronze. I don't really do elite, because usually those are the cards that are starting for me, and I'm not really sp supposed to buy anything until I get a million coins, but... I have to get that TY when it comes out, so I will buy TY, maybe in a week or so, but, because, you know, they do always go down in price, but I will get it, so this is pretty much going to be the end of the video, guys, I have about 40 seconds, but thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoyed, I'm just going to be going over some of these cards, we'll see you guys later, Chuck the Deuce, God bless, and I'm out, just, you know, I've already did, done the outro, so you guys can't get mad if it's weird at the end. Just saying. So, I mean, I'm not prepared right now. But, yeah, so just stay tuned and guess the numbers, guys. Guess how much I'm going to make and get your coins at the end of the time that I make the million. So, I think I'm out in, like, three. Just, just guess the numbers, guys. Bye, I'm out. Pieces.